distinguished guests, faculty, families, and to the NYU Stern class of 2016, the day has arrived. The day dreaded by full-timers as we make a hard landing back into reality and eagerly anticipated by Langone, who might see the inside of a bar or a gym. <laughs> Either way, it is upon us. Similar to what Veronica said, I want you to think back to where you were the moment you decided Stern was in your near future. I was deployed with the Army in the jungles of, of Nicaragua when I received a static phone call from the admissions department because I hadn't checked my email in quite some time. Sorry, I replied without thinking. I just got back from Columbia. Well, that got their attention. We didn't even know you were considering Columbia Business School. <laughs> Can we have a conversation about what you want out of your MBA experience? Have you ever heard of Professor Aswath de Modern, the king of valuation? They were confused between the country where I had been and the school where I would never, ever, ever, ever go. <laughs> I've always been a bit more of a downtown kind of guy. So on a personal note, while I'm up here with the microphone, I cannot express my love and thanks I have for my family. To my mom, dad, sister Summer and Sierra, grandparents and the rest of my family, it would not be here without your steadfast love and support. I love y'all. Okay, now back to everyone else. We've all come so far. I know I have, both personally and professionally. There have been ups and downs, trials and tribulations, exams and hangovers, marathon casing sessions and fingers worn down by failing to master Excel shortcuts. We've lost some dear classmates. We've lost them to corporate offers they couldn't turn down. We've lost them to marriages where they're no longer allowed to come out to beer blast. <laughs> We've lost them down Tokyo's twisting streets on the Japan trek. <laughs> I have loved my time here. One part of me will always be a little bit New Yorker. Never cool enough to be my hardcore peers out in Brooklyn. Where Brooklyn at? <laughs> but content in the knowledge that anything north of 30th is essentially Canadian tundra. <laughs> this school, in and of the city, has helped hone our edge to a New York razor sharpness. Every new friendship we made, from the first day of launch and amongst our core groups, to the late night projects and later night shenanigans, showed me how impressive a group of leaders I was surrounded by. I am in awe of you, my peers. Those who bore children and raised families, worked double internships while taking 15 credits, those who spent 70 hours a week on Wall Street and then sacrificed their nights and weekends on the altar of the all-powerful Langone, those who subsisted solely on a diet of Monster and Fireball. <laughs> those who journeyed far from home countries and native languages, those who planned treks and follies and served on student government and as club president and started businesses and TA'd for Nobel laureates and won coveted positions in their desired field, the list goes on and on. I am in awe of all of you. Thank you for sharing these years with me. I wouldn't trade them for anything. I look forward to building our careers and lives side by side. A network sounds so clinical and Machiavellian. We have so much more, a stern family. For me, it started in Austin when I was adopted by my consortium family. Then through dining ins and dining outs in Amity Hall with the Military Veterans Club. There's 32 of you out there, but yeah. Um, to the very best parties hosted by Outclass. To epic trips for classes to Panama, and Beijing, and Morocco. And core studies with the Block Four. Each one formed but a part of our larger Stern family. I am warned by the knowledge that I have friends that I can call upon for guidance and support, advice and conversation, a restaurant recommendation in Buenos Aires, and a hot stock tip from one of your M&A clients. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, we all took professional responsibility. That's called insider trading. Unless you can afford Professor Oaken as an expert witness, in which case, 
It's just non-fiduciary insight into current corporate trends or something. <laughs> In all seriousness, Stern has helped to give us the knowledge, the best friends, and the tools we will forge into careers and lives that will positively impact our own future earning potential, but also the world at large. Looking towards the future, I am confident I will remain in awe of your accomplishments as leaders and as friends. So one final heartfelt thanks to the distinguished faculty that guided us, to our families and friends that supported us, and to each and every one of you graduates that made the journey. Good luck and congratulations to the NYU Stern Class of 2016.